さんこんにちは、たまきです。突然なんですけど、皆さんにとって幸せな瞬間ってどんな瞬間でしょうか私は寝るのと食べるのが大好きなので、美味しいものを食べるとか、朝時間を気にせずに寝ていられるとか、そういうことも大きな幸せを感じる瞬間の一つではないかなというふうに思うんですけど、心理学の世界では、最近生み出された、考えられるようになった幸せの定義の考え方があります。で、今日の動画ではそれを紹介していきたいと思いますではよろしくお願いしますはい。Uh, music oriented. So, my mom is a、uh, piano teacher at Yamaha, and then my dad、uh, sings musical instruments basically. So, that they do like music education since we were young.、Um, and then I found that musical instruments is not really appealing to me because they really forced me to learn. I was more.、Um, Excited about making physical stuff, and then I guess my family wasn't really rich, so I started making things I wanted to buy with、um, like cardboard or like、uh, stock papers and stuff. In high school, I was so denied to be an artist. I was just following my parents say or the teachers say, and I was believing that it was a better way to be. But I, I had a best friend in high school, and she is so smart. And I knew that she was so talented, but she didn't have a dream, anything she w a n n a be in the future. I knew that I want to be an artist in the future, so I、uh, realized that having a dream is not an、uh, easy thing. So, with her, I realized that I shouldn't follow what the teachers say, I should go for what I want to say in the future. I think I told that I want to go to art school after graduation, but like. They were like, no, you cannot go to art school. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> it happened. So, so I, I, I really didn't like that. So, I came to the United States to learn art.、Um, I would say it's kind of weird, but like、uh, Lady Gaga inspired me a lot. <laughs> Since,、um, as I said, like going back, going back to high school and in junior high school、uh, in Japan, they think that. Like doing 
exactly the same thing as others thought as good thing. So and then my sister really loved Lady Gaga and then and then she showed me the video and then how she grew up and then I was inspired that um I shouldn't be same as others. So I think I like her a lot. I didn't understand English much uh, in the first year of the United States. So I think it was uh, one of the most struggling thing uh, since I came here. And then I was so scared of talking to people because they, I was afraid of um, that they don't understand what I'm saying or I don't understand what they saying. So I stopped like hanging around or like try to make friends in here. But like later, like I spent two years, three years, I found myself more confident in talking in English. So I started making friends again. So yeah, I think English is most difficult part since I came to here. To me, the most weird thing is hugging with friends and stuff. So I was so scared or like, I I don't know, it's, it was very awkward to hug with friends. Um, um, yeah, so I try not to hug people because um, I, at first I try to hug them even though I don't understand the culture, but I found that I could explain. Uh, I feel kind of uncomfortable with hugging. So yeah, that's the, I think I, I think I guess um, that's the only part I felt so weird about culture. Yeah. Oh, I actually uh, don't like pizza and a hamburger. <laughs> So <laughs> it was changing. So, um, so you know, like when we try to hang out with friends, you know, let's go to in and out or like let's get pizza and then like oh, I don't like pizza and a hamburger. But you know, like and then I was dating with um, uh, the guy who was born in here and then grew up in here and then he really liked pizza and then hamburger and then. Um, it was very hard to um, decide which restaurant we go. Uh, I actually uh, entered San Jose State with uh, performance art concentrated, but um, I met a Japanese friend who was measuring uh, digital media art, and then I was talking to him and then I found that it's more interesting rather than learning performance art.
um, this、uh, freshman orientation for San Jose State. And、uh, I was living around、uh, Milpitas at this moment. And、uh, um, at the freshman orientation, but like, I couldn't understand any. English there, and then, so I was almost crying. And then I was looking for something to eat, and then I was googling what to eat. And I found San Jose, Japan town, so and I found Nijia too. So I thought I should go there, and then I didn't know how to、uh, get bus, train, so I just walked to San Jose, Japan town. It took like 40 minutes. And I was kind of crying <laughs> since I couldn't speak English at all. And then,、uh, yeah, that's pretty much,、um, I think, the first、uh, time I discovered San Jose Japan Town.、Uh, I was hoping someone who speaks Japanese, or I don't know. <laughs> and、uh, I went to there, but like everything is in English, of course. So I was like, but I found so many like Japanese snacks and then food. Uh, I haven't seen Japanese food for like two months or so, right? I was so happy with seeing all the Japanese stuff. And then I know that, like, since there's San Jose Japan Town, there's people who k n o w Japanese culture and Japanese language. So, yeah, I was happy to discover、uh, San Jose Japan Town. Uh, the organization called、uh, Cadre, it's for、uh, this media art student. And、uh, you know, the professor in Cadre、uh, s e n d us an email about the project. And、uh, I was scared because,、uh, as you know, I'm not a native English speaker. And、uh, I was scared of putting myself outside of school because I cannot. Give、um, excuse of like broken English, I guess. So, but like、uh, seeing the project, I know that there's so many、uh, Japanese people, not Japanese people, but like Japanese American people. So,、um, I assume that they will appreciate、um, myself.、Um, As an artist, not English speaker or like not native English speaker. Piece, the basic、uh, focus is to show that these people helping each other when they came to the town. So, you know, I lived in Japan for 19 years and、uh, I want to deny it, but like there's definitely like cultural and political conflict be- between China, Japan, and Korea. And then, like, learning that. It was Chinatown before. And then when Japanese people came to the town, they helped each other to establish their culture. It was really、uh, surprising and inspiring to me. There's a movie called The Price of Everything. And it's、um, about they following a really big auction of art. And then, so right now, modern art. Uh, considered as one of the i n v e s t m e n t for rich people. So,、uh, so, how they appreciate art is how much they can make money with it. They value physical things more than the experience they see. So, I really hate that. So, I want to destroy the culture, create the experience, not like own the things. 
I'm hoping that art get more closer to daily life, I guess. So you walk into the street and then you met art and then you appreciate it and then it makes you happy and it like I wanna make art closer to everyone, I think. 心理学の中でその瞬間こそ人間が感じることのできる一番幸せな瞬間だというふうに言われてるんですけどそれをフローというふうに呼ばれていますではありがとうございました。